finally, after almost a year of sitting on our drive and not going anywhere, it was time to move the hut. After driving the massive John Deere, the six miles to site, jumping on this little Ford was an experience. <laughs> after what felt like a day of shunting it around the site with no power steering, I felt like I'd had a serious workout. <laughs> This next part took a lot longer than what the video shows. Um, we had to shunt it in and out so many times because it was, well, it wasn't wider, but it was the width of the gate, let's say, and it was scraping as it went in, so it took a while. <laughs> couple of hours was spent using different methods to inch the trailer around the site. It felt slow and at times we definitely had to scratch our heads over some issues that came up. After attaching the trailer to the digger arm and seeing how effortless it moved it, this is me wondering why we didn't start it like this in the first place. day was all about getting it leveled up. Why didn't we pull it up onto sleepers? I don't know, but this was definitely the harder option. Over the next few days we made pretty good progress and tried to spend as much time there as possible to get it up and watertight and these pre-made roof sections from Harrogate Huts definitely made that quicker. It is 8 o'clock on Saturday morning on the 23rd of March and we've had a really productive couple of days going over on my own today because Marcella is in Rome and I can hopefully get the Shepherd's Hut water type. Um, I've got breathable felt, um, I've got the glass for the windows, I can put the doors in. So yeah, big step forward. Bloody sunny. Little did I know that this was a massive waste of time as that night the wind blew it all off as I didn't fix it down well enough. To be honest though, it made it a bit easier to insulate as you'll see in the next video because we were able to lay it down on the ceiling before refelting. Oh, here I am pretending to be a window fitter. Just lifted the doors on so... They're absolutely filthy, but um, Marcella in here for a good old clean. Unfortunately, the floor's taken a bit of damage as it's sat in our driveway for the last few months, but it's nothing. We're pretty wind tight now. It's pretty rubbish out there today, so um, it's nice to not have the wind ripping through here. 
and obviously as you can see the felt is on I've just got to build the two little gabley end bits up there yeah well, I feel like a bit of a challenge is going to be finding a home for all these bits of insulation again because they all have a place somewhere but yeah we'll see Okay, so it's hard to picture at the minute, but look at the view from the double doors. I think all weathers, summer or winter, that is just awesome. And then the bed, which is going to be up this end, obviously it's only, it's a small shepherd's hut, so it's going to be pretty cosy, but you know, for couples, a couple of nights away, it's what you want, isn't it? The bed's going to be up this end, so you've got the windows. The idea is that you will lay up in bed and be a pretty good height to, you know, chill, have your cup of tea, look at the river through these dirty old windows. But yeah, it'll get there, you get the idea. I did make it taller than it needs to be, it is very tall, so really to give um, less of a closed in feel, because obviously, like I say, it's only about 18 feet long, maybe not even that long. So yeah, I want to try and maximise the headroom so it doesn't feel tiny. Bringing in the steps that we made was an exciting step because it was tricky getting in and out of the hut without them and I had them professionally load tested by our 8 year old. We didn't have all of the clad in, but I was keen to make a start on what we did have. These looked awesome, and although they took ages to make, it was worth it. Today, um, battened all around the outside to take all the clad in. The two little gable, the curved gables built and uh, watertight. Um, I just need to get the tin on next, get the tin on, get it insulated, and then get some wires in. Yeah, we've got more cladding to plank because we didn't do enough when we did it the first time round, but the tree is ready to be planked, so we've just got to get that done. Uh, and then we can get the outside completely finished off, which will be nice. And then yeah, I'll come here with Marcella, do a bit of uh, planning for what we're going to do with the inside so we can start buying bits and pieces, get a floor down. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs>